Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we still we have I don't know how many people are running for president uh, for the Republican nomination at this point. Uh, we have half a dozen have declared. We've got uh, at least another three or four who are purposely not declaring because they want to continue to raise money for their super PACs, which they're going to delegate a lot of their campaign duties to. And of course, they can continue to uh, actively raise money for those super PACs, which can accept donations from anonymous donors and uh, a lot of dark money. But there's one guy who's sitting on the sidelines, who's taken himself out of the mix. And the, the seething desperation and hunger to be back into the mix, this guy's game day. And he's sitting on the bench and he's looking at these stooges in the clown car and he's saying, it, it should have been me. It should have been me. <laughs> and that's why he shows up on Fox News talking to Brian Kilmeade. <laughs> Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I present you, you may have forgotten about him, but he hasn't forgotten about you, Mitt Romney. We currently practice. Millions fewer people would be living in poverty. Tell me what you think. Well, I was concerned that her comments uh, really smacked of, of politicization of the, of the terrible uh, tragedies that are going on there. When she, well, when she said, look, we're not going to have... Mitt Romney is concerned about the politicization of what's going on in Baltimore. As if incarceration rights have nothing to do with politics. As if... Policing policies have nothing to do with politics, as if housing policy has nothing to do with politics, as if public education, taxation, municipal services, lead remediation, none of these things have anything to do with politics. Continue. Mass incarcerations in the future. It's like, what is she referring to? We don't have mass incarcerations in America. Individuals are brought before tribunals and they have counsel. They're given certain rights. Uh, are we not going to lock people up who commit crimes? Is that what she's suggesting? I mean, I thought it was a very inappropriate thing for her to do. And I think it was a, a political in nature to try and get more support in the African-American community. And I think it was a, a big mistake on her part and simply wrong. Okay, so <laughs> let's break this down for a minute. First off, these tribunals that Mitt Romney <laughs> speaks of, I'm not aware of them as they exist. But yeah, so you want to call them tribunals? I guess maybe that's more of a, it's a different term. A God knows what happens inside. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe they're Mormon tribunals. I don't know. But then he pretends like he doesn't know what the word mass incarceration means. He says, no, we have individuals who go to prison. We don't have mass incarcerations. In other words, we don't round up thousands, 10,000 people and put them all into jail simultaneously. Most grown-ups know that mass incarceration refers to the amount of people who are incarcerated. Not that we incarcerate them all at one time. But okay, he doesn't uh, appreciate Clinton's syntax. But then Mitt Romney cannot help himself. Recall Mitt Romney saying, if only I had a Mexican surname, I would be, I'd be much easier road to presidency. Or if it wasn't for President Obama giving away all this stuff to black people, he, uh, I would have beat him. <laughs> and he can't help himself. He comes out and says, well, this is just Hillary Clinton trying to do a favor for black people. So I, we don't mass incarcerate people, but speaking about this will help the masses of will help Hillary get the masses of black support. Mitt, this is what this is my message to you. Run. <laughs> Run for president. You're right. <laughs> Scott Walker, you look at him and see him as genetically inferior. Yes, you're right. Um, Run. Uh, Jeb's gonna lose. Run. America needs it and this show <laughs> needs, it. All needs it. We all need it. We all need you, Mitt. It's true. We do. We need you.